Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. That I, I see in you, man, was those those beats, that music, what you done during that time is crazy priceless. And when you think about um, when, when Pimp C came home, you know, I get on Pimp C because that's the, here we go. You got to give me a PMC story because, and I don't want what you're giving everybody else either. <laughs> I want to hear about the music process because he was a producer as well. Yeah. And then you come because that's a that's a that's what KL did. He gave me a story about their situation and how he helped him mm -hmm. far as on his producing thing. You was already you was a vet. You was in it too when he mm -hmm. came to you. Um, what did you What did he think about your music and the way you processed it versus what he was doing? Did I he mean, even think about it? Because he's very particular. Yeah, he is. Oh, he was very. bad. I mean, he tell people. All, he used to tell people all the time. I had the closest drums to his than anybody else. Yeah, had. really. Yeah, we used to. You spend. People used to come me two or three o'clock in the morning. We'd talk music all night. Man, and you know, what I mean, I love that dude. We were getting ready to see that album together right before he died. Yeah. I, he taught. He called me the day before he flew out to L.A. And he wow. was supposed to be flying back, and I was going to link up with him dead. Wow. And you know, it was just a lot of different things. He wanted to sit down with me. We used to pick each other's brain. And one thing he used to always say, he said, man, he came to my house, and when he, we had had this, had this situation when he had first came home before okay. I really talked to him, and I wanted to get a verse from him. Okay. And I talked to my partner, Mike Moe, and I was like, man, hit up Pimp and ask him what he going to do for me on a verse. And Mike came back, he said, man, Pimp said 10000 I was like, man, I ain't doing no motherfucking <laughs> 10000 verse. I ain't doing that shit. Mike was laughing and shit, and then Pimp had came out to my house. And did a verse for Slim Thug on Slim Thug's album, and I produced the track, and he laid it. Now we exchanged our information and all of that shit, and he started calling. So that was when you first met him. Yeah, that's no, I met him. No, he met, met him, him before, before that. Before that, yeah, but he just, but this was when he came home. Yeah. So he had a like this is what yeah. I'm doing now. Yeah. He knew he knew his value went up. Oh, he already knew that. He knew his he value knew, went up. I mean, he's always his value was always up. No, no, no. But done. coming home after all yeah. that free to pimp C y'all was doing, yeah, that nigga's like shit. This gonna be ten. <laughs> I'm nigga. gonna kill these niggas. So I wasn't really personal with him then. You know what I'm saying? And then when he came to my house and he saw what I had achieved and how I was living, he was he's like, man, I need to get your number. I'm gonna talk to. You. I need to talk to you about something. I said, cool. Mm -hmm. He hit me up. He said, man, I need you. I need to sit down with you, man, and pick your brain on some different shit, and we just became friends. You know wow. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He's like, man, I just didn't even see how the fuck you got everything you got this fast. I need to sit and see yeah. what's going on. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So we used to talk about shit all the time, man. But he was definitely a super crazy heavy influence on my music. Too. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You, did you see him process any of the music for us? I did. Produce it. I did. I had the same drum machine he had. Okay. You know, okay. When I first so started. You know so y'all could they could have conversations yeah. that. That, that other people couldn't have. Yeah, is that, was my, that was my dude, man. He used to sit. I mean, I mean, the dude used to call me and rap over the phone. He'd put a beat on, rap over the phone. And, you know, he'd be like, yeah, man, you know, mother niggas don't know what to do with this shit, man. Yeah. I'm going to show you. <laughs> I'm going to show you what to do yeah, with this, so, man. You know, that's how I used to talk and shit. But, you know, Pimp was a super intelligent guy, man. He was. You know, but he and he was so smart until he knew how to turn Pimp C on and how to turn it off. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.